Ostrov is a city builder, a fantastic city builder, and we're returning to it pretty far along in the game in terms of like, we've got a bunch of systems in place. We have carpentry and forestry. Uh, We can make shoes and we can make clothes. We've got salt going now. We've got some horses, some chickens, some sheep. And so today I want to focus on expansion, maybe getting into some of the new buildings and maybe selling a lot more to the trader. Two, two big things. One, we built a bridge, which is amazing. And if you, I have a video on YouTube right now that is called The Chicken Story. And it's from last week's playthrough about, we bought some chickens, they died. We actually, our chickens starved. We bought some more chickens and then we bought some more chickens and we finally got some chickens. So it's a fun little video worth a watch. I'm pretty sure the developer watched it because... That video went out last week, weekend, and midweek they, they patched the game, a very small patch that fixed a couple of things. And the very first patch note thing was, I, I make a joke in that video about how it would be nice if, if the chicken coop said something, that's not the chicken coop right here. It, it would be nice if the chicken coop said something like a message somewhere and said, you know, maybe here in the message log popped up and said, Hey, listen, we're very low on food. I made a whole joke about it. First, first, first thing in the patch notes was the animal buildings will now send a message when they're getting low on food. Huh? Huh? Changing the course of games. Probably it was always on his plan. It just happens to coincide with what I was saying. <laughs> Let's do this in this order. Well, we're going to put a couple houses down. We'll deal with the fallow fields and then we'll look into doing some cows and we'll probably just let the trader go because we don't have the infrastructure to bring the cows in yet. We have 115 people. There's no extra houses. So we'll do what we always do at the beginning, which is, oh boy, we should build some more houses. And if we look at houses here, we can see these row houses are going to need bricks. So we're going to have to focus on getting bricks and mortar So we can start building some of these cool new houses that are in the game. We have the rest of this stuff. We're going to build regular garden houses. And I'm going to fill in some of this area right here, I think. Um, And let's see if we can't. Let's see if we can't do something like this. And we'll hit F1. And then let's just, excuse me, let's just move this in. We're going to take up some of these roads here. Just no big deal. And then come in like this and let's move this one in just a little bit so the road continues. And then we move him around. Perfect. And then enter to build. All right, so that'll get the builders doing something. Let's build one to start. This is the three on, three off principle. So these three, wheat, flax, and sunflowers... And so then these ones will be wheat, flax, and then sunflower. And then these will become fallow. We got into some trouble last week, two weeks. We, every week we get into trouble with food and we're going to continue. Like we almost, I think I want to do another farm and like really double down on the, on the food. So it's the same way here. And these, these ones aren't lined up as nicely, of course. And so I think here we'll do, here we'll do sunflower and we'll follow this one. These ones were two wheats and we've got some potatoes. Let's do potatoes in the back lot and follow this one. And then let's do wheat again. Once these ones are, once this one's good, we'll do wheat again and we'll follow these two. All right. And I think we just keep with that. And and I think that'll save us from complete disaster. We have a bunch of apples. Uh, The apricots are coming in. We're building a house. What do we think we need to do cows? Mm. All right. A place for breeding cows and milking and milk production. And then produces butter, cheese, and and smutra for milk. Now, I want to believe... That this is all we need. 
When you buy cattle from a neighboring town, it will be assigned to a cow shed from, with more space. Make sure the cow shed is staffed and has stock of hay and water before a cow trader arrives. In summer, cows can graze in pastures. For a breeder, you need to at least one bull, male cow. All livestock in the cow shed, uh, da-da-da. You can build in slaughterhouse, which we already have. In winter, animals consume 25 units of hay and water per month. So let's build a cow shed. And let's build it right in here. I'm still worried about... Yep, the storage is full. I'm still worried that we just aren't producing enough hay, but I mean, we have right now in storage, we have 2,000. This one's 7,000 if we can get it full. So I just, I almost think that, look, we don't want this to be, we just need a lot of these storage things, right? I think we build another... I think we build another storage unit, another big storage unit. I just don't, I don't want to run out. <laughs> I'm scared to death of running out. Now maybe we build another big storage unit. I'm trying to decide like where, maybe right in here in Cow Alley. Oh, maybe we'll build it out here next to this stuff so they don't have to walk as far. So now we just need to hire some people and we got to add a pasture, which I think we're going to do is we'll put it, here's where we put the sheep pasture. So I think they'll move. They'll just, they'll make new ones. So I think we do is we put it right here. Oh, it doesn't like that. I know it's like totally crazy looking, right? All right, so that's like too close. So maybe we let maybe we just try to leave that road in and come in and do something crazy, crazy like I don't know. Let's go. Yeah, I can't decide if this is. Can't decide if this is a good idea or not. <laughs> uh, I'm pulling them back. Maybe we go here, here, and just have like cows in the middle of the town. Almost feel like that's not. We should have gone. Mm, Something like that. I wish we could put like a third point in here, but. <laughs> All right, we can always redo it. All right, now, now we've got a cow pasture with roads in the middle of it. <laughs> hey, they got a worker. Let's hire another one. They're bringing in. Water, and this is where they're getting the water from. Remember when, you, when you're doing any kind of livestock or, or buildings, you want to make sure you build a platform so that the water is being pulled from a river instead of being pulled from a well so that the people can get their, the people can get their water. It's important. So move this around up the top there. All right, so we've got, we've got the cow shed, we've got the cow pasture. Um, we followed the instructions. We've got hay and we've got food. Or water, hay and water. And now we just got to wait for a trader and we'll buy some cows. What do we got here? Holy shit. All right. It's got cows. Males and females. Oh, we got oxen too. Where? I want to turn the oxen into... Um, I want to be able to plow the fields. So... Let's buy... Um, Let's buy two, let's buy four cows, one bull, and two oxen. And a partridge in a pear tree. Deal. All right, here comes more things that Drax will try to kill. Oh, 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 oh. Where are those? The cows are in. 
And the oxen, I don't know what we need to do to turn them into plowing, but then we're going to assign them to plow the fields. And if I remember right, uh, supply for oxen, I don't, let's do not enough adult oxen. Complete an order, need to. All right. So once we get some, once the oxen come in, then we can see how that works. We're all set. Oh, look, there's the oxen. They're ready. They're ready. Drag and drop on another farm to re relocate. So these guys, so I guess we just need oxen for every farm. So now these guys are going to go out there. Oh, I can't wait to see them. Can't wait to see them working. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun. Decoration. And let's plant some more trees. Maples, ash. What are we in the mood for? Spruce. Oh, that's big. Um, oh, I guess I needed to hold that to, to build another one. Yeah, hold shift to place multiples. So let's place a couple there. And then how about a couple there? Here and here. All right, just trying to, I'm trying to spruce it up a little bit. Where else can we squeeze some trees in? All right, look at this. All right, and then um, I know that there's some other fun stuff we could do. Maybe some more park benches. A gazebo. Oof. Should we see what that looks like? Oh, that's fun. Let's do a little, let's do a little gazebo right there. And then maybe some more benches. Hey, a new messenger. Let's do, let's do one there. And then maybe put one here. Look, someone sat down at it immediately. Everybody loves a bench. Uh, maybe one right here. Hey, gazebo completed. Hey, there's a guy sitting in there. <laughs> oh, I love it. What's this guy got for us? It seems like, I, I said this last time, but it just seems like they're coming in so much faster than normal. Uh, all right, what do we want to, how's our iron situation? 683, I think since he's here, let's buy 400. We're running out of money again. Ooh, we can sell a ton of charcoal to this person. 5,000. Chicken eggs, sunflower oil. We've got 916 in export stock. So maybe it's 400 of this. Clothes, raspberries. We're probably still sitting on a ton of apples. Export stock has, let's just sell 250 more. Maybe let's just sell 100 more. If, I, if Drex can type. $8. Yeah, that's great. I just don't want them to rot, right? Pigs are our next buy. So we're going to bring us fat. All right, I think that looks great. We can do a farm manager. What does the farm manager do? Hi, what does the farm manager do? I don't know. We'll open it up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Farm managers allow you to not have to manually do... I was talking about this last week. So now we can say, hey, it's going to do wheat, and then it's going to be fallow. And then it'll go back to wheat. So then it's going to do sunflowers, and then it's going to be fallow. This is great. This is great. And so... Oh, and this is like all, so this, so this is all eight of them here. So fallow, where's number seven? Go to field. Okay. So this one is wheat and then fallow. Oh, we can then just touch on them. So right now this one is potatoes fallow. I wonder if it'll go right back to this. I guess we'll decide how that works. This manager thing is amazing. All right. So then... Wheat fallow, sunflower fallow, and then these ones are just all fallow right now. So 
we need to decide this one will be um, this one will be sunflower, and then this one will be wheat, and then we'll do potatoes here, and then another wheat, right? Cool. All right. So then let's definitely hire a manager here. Yeah. And then we'll do the same thing. So right now it's sunflowers, flax, and wheat. And so we'll do fallow, fallow, fallow. Whoops. Sorry, this should, this should be fallow. Oh, we can't change. Oh, we're going to get screwed there. And then, so this one's sunflower. I didn't change it, it looks like. So then fallow, fallow. Okay, so we'll, I guess we'll see how that runs. But it looks like my prayers were answered. Maybe that's always been there. I, just, I, didn't, I don't think I even realized that last week. So a brick works. I think that's where we're at. So it needs sand. So we need to build a sand pit first. And it looks like... It's very particular about where it wants to go. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like out here is a bunch of green. So let's we'll put it next to the salt works. All right. And then they'll build that next. And then the brick works. And let's just double check again. Bricks produce two steps. Clay mixed with sand and dried. All right. And it said it needs to be close to water, which... There's water right down here. So do we put it out here and like no one wants to live near this road? I think so. And then it's sort of halfway, right? Here's the clay and the sand will come from here and then they'll pull water from there. All right, that'll give us bricks. And what we're really going towards is trying to build one of these houses. Okay. Hi. Oh yeah. All right. Good. So that's all, that's all that is. That's sand. And we have an infinite amount of it. That's what the little, so when I was on the building of the house on the end, there is 790 sand. So we can start building row houses. We have a, th we'll, we have a thousand stone. We have plenty of wood, plenty of nails. We just need to get the, we need to get the brickworks running, which seems pretty easy seeing that, oh man, why did I just say that out loud? It seems pretty easy seeing that we've got everything we need. We're having water problems? Ooh. Didn't we, we built another well right here. So maybe we just need, maybe we should put another well in here too. These guys, are these guys, are these guys using water? They are probably, right? And they're probably not going all the way down to the river. They're using water and they're using water, but I'm hoping they're going down there. Well, let's, let's do this. Let's just see if we can alleviate some of these problems by putting a well in right here. We kind of screwed up our whole like process here. We need to, we need to think about this because like, I don't think it's all right. So I don't, I want, so this one is going to go fallow. We want this one to definitely go fallow. Like, ah. And then do we just push? Do we just push these three this time? So this one's, this is where we are now. This is where we're going to be. This is, they just made this. So right click to remove. They just did this. They're going to go fallow. Construction complete on the brickworks. They just made this, they're going to go fallow. The sunflower, flax. So this sort of solves the problem of like not having to micromanage the shit out of it. But like, it almost seems like these are going to run out and then I'm going to have to come back and do it. So you still got to come back. Oh, maybe you just need to tell it the next. Eh, it's, it's not as automated as it should be. We have to follow this frontier has the best version of this, right? Like being able to just set it, set it and forget it. I mean, if it just would, like, there should be like, just repeat, right? Uh, I don't, I don't, 
I don't, I can't, I can't decide. I guess we'll see how this runs for a couple of seasons and then I'll pass, uh, and then I will pass judgment on it. Uh, wheat. It needs like a, a copy thing too, where you could just be like copy and then go to the next field and do the same thing. Hi. Yeah. Potatoes. All right. I seem to be getting faster at it, or at least I think I'm getting faster. Wheat. Uh, wheat. Good. And then this one's the potato field. Potato. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let's see how that plays. Should we? Yes. The answer is yes, Trax. Let's build a wagon shed and see what happens. So that um, we can start moving some goods by wagon. Let's put it. Let's just squeeze it in here, right next to the stable, so the horses don't have to go far. So the horses don't have to go far. Uh, yeah, they built a wagon, so let's put a couple workers in there, and then we'll have no draft horses to complete order. Okay, okay. Um, hi, I'd like to get some draft horses, please. We've got a bunch of them here, so can... Prepare this for a draft horse. There's one. And then another. I guess we'll do this one. It needs to be at least two years old. Do we have, so we have females, males, females. I guess we'll do this one. Need more horseshoes. <laughs> hey man, I'm working on it. All right, here comes more inbound horseshoes. And then this guy will... We've got a guy producing tack, right? Oh, 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 there's some, there's something happening. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 there it is. We got one. Resource supply. Okay. I thought there was something on some of these buildings where you're like, it has to be told. Yeah, here it is. Workers by hand, workers by cart, by wagon. So that means it can be delivered by wagon. Wasn't that, why isn't that by default? Yes, if they, if there's wagons, we'd love to, like, especially here, right? Wagon, 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 wagon. Where else are we, like, doing crazy stuff here? Just, oh, that was a lot. By wagon. Yeah, hey, stone by wagon. That'd be nice, right? All right, is it? Well, he's just sitting in there. So no one, everyone's like, you can use a horse. No, 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 that's okay. I don't, I don't, I'm not really a horse person. I don't want to, like, they make a mess. All right, so if we click here, these are stuff that the trader will just keep on hand. Let's, I feel like we should stop doing this. And buckwheat also. Sunflower oil, yes. Clothes if we have extras. Apples for sure. Let's talk about, ap let's talk about apricots, eh? No. So let's add to this. We had firewood on there for a while, but like no one was buying. No one's sniffing around my firewood. Uh, yeah, yeah. Du, 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 du. What the hell was I going to put in here? <laughs> Buckwheat, broadcloth, beef, bark, only available. No, let's see. Du, 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 du. Dried fish, fruit, hops, honey. Horse tack. I still think there's a. I still. I still think there's a business in horse tack. Oh, we're gonna put salt in here. How much lime do we have? I wonder. Oh, we can hover here, right? Uh, it's alphabetical. Do we have any linseed limestone? Four. Oh, Four thousand seven hundred. But is that the, that's the actual stone, not the lime? Oh, there's the salt. So let's. We said it said we have a thousand. I guess let's keep five hundred in here. To see. And the lime, I guess we just don't have enough. We must be using it somewhere. Somewhere. All right, let, that's good. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's demolish this one and demolish this one. And then let's build them closer to 
this nonsense. So let's so they won't have to walk so far. What do you think? You like that? You like that logic right there? Let's just let's just back them up. One, two, three. And then when this one is dead at some point, we'll get rid of that one too. Charcoal pile is a place for burning firewood into charcoal. Once it's activated, your laborers will start gathering firewood until the amount reaches 10,000 units. Keep in mind that as charcoal piles rely on laborer work, you need to have a certain amount of unemployed people in your town for it to function consistently. Son of a bitch. How many people are unemployed? Zero. Oh, 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 oh. I think it might have worked. Look at this. Like this charcoal thing's hurting us. It's hurting us bad. All right, a thousand bricks. And we're halfway through what we need on the other side. Ah, I just didn't, I didn't think about that. That's, that's kind of bogus. They should make the builders be the ones that supply the charcoal. Cheater vision to try to get as much charcoal on hand as possible. Show me a warehouse. Let's do this. So that they'll take it off the pyre and put it into a warehouse. And then they'll do it again and again and again. How much did it pull out? So 4,000? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Look at this. People looking for work, which means they put those. All right. So we solved our little, we solved our crisis there by just like, we solved our crisis by reading. I can't emphasize enough the importance of the written word. Oh, wow. This one has 8,000. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do what Drax always does in these games. Freaks out that he doesn't have enough of something. Then quadruples down on it. And then all of a sudden I have way too much. I don't care. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Let's put down one of these so they can get started. And let's put it right. Put it right here. Huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh, a long way to go. Now they're all out. So if someone needs a cart right now, they're waiting. So maybe we should build, let's build another, let's build another cart um, parking, which will produce some more carts. And maybe we put it, maybe we put it out here so that these guys can use it. To reduce leather, you'll need to expose raw hides, six month long tanning process. Choose the amount of hides to be processed in one batch and the number of batches. Oh, wait, I can change this? Oh. Oh, Drax, you idiot. It's my own fault. The workers have been, the workers the whole time have been making fun of me. They're like, maybe he won't notice that all he has to do is change the batch size and we'll start working. Uh, Joseph, do you think we should tell him? No, 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 no. I'm almost done with Pride and Prejudice, okay? Like, I just want to finish this book. Oh, my God. Here comes some leather in the door, too. Hey, tanner guy. Are you actually tanning something? Look at this. We're tanning both sheep and leather. We're actually going to, for the first time ever, uh, we will produce... How many years in are we? Four years in, and we're now finally producing our own. I, mean, I bet it's a decade in, and we're from now. Those guys have been doing nothing for a decade because Drax was too stupid to realize he could change the batch size. It's coming along. It's coming along. Well, um, what do we do? 15 hours in to the gameplay, maybe 20, and we're just building the new row house. I've seen some pretty cool layouts of these houses. Preparing for the burn. All right, so this is the last batch of them, right? Because they just delivered a thousand more. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's not saying we need any more. Oh, look at... This is great. This is great. Hey! The row house.
house is complete. Four apartments. Who will move in to this first brick house in our lovely settlement in Draxville? Anybody? 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 Any takers? Anyone? And then, of course, the problem, a new family is settled in our town. There they are. A new family. Apartment number one. Oh, that's cool. Here they come. Here they come. Hey. All right. Perfect. A new cow shed and some cows. We have a wagon shed. We're making bricks. The salts and the lime works are running. Bunch of new houses out here on the edge of town. We reworked the farms and hired some managers. All in all, this game does not disappoint. Um, I think there's still lots to do. And of course, at this point, we've sort of reached the end of like what else we can build. And now it's just, it's scale, right? So it's saying, okay, we have 169 people. How many can we fit in here? You know, can we build an actual city center? Can we move some of these things around? So it's, this is the, this is the, this is the end game, if you will. And I think it's, uh, I think it's fantastic. Uh, we still have to build a tavern and a hops. So I think we'll play this game one more week next Sunday and we'll, we'll get a, we'll get the bar going. The video is over. Now it's time for you to do your part. Follow, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.